let's take a look at the arm bar from close guard. That's gonna be our foundation to move into a shoulder trap from which we will develop an entire series of submissions. So the standard arm bar from the guard. The success of this depends on, in my opinion, breaking your opponent's posture and getting a good angle so that you can attack from the side. First thing we do is start with the wrists, both hands, legs are locked in the close guard position. If I have this wrist, I'm going to choose one, it's going to be this arm. If I have this wrist, I'm going to come across underneath the other arm to the elbow. And now I've got a really good hold of this. I'm going to keep it in line with my body, flush with my body as much as possible. Put my foot on that same hip, the arm that I have. Now I start to work my angle. Push my head away and also kick up into the armpit. That brings him down to my level. A little bit closer to my level anyway. Keeping this arm extended and pulled across. The left hand, in this case, can go now across to the head, posting the head away, holding it down as I bring this leg up and around. The heels now drop down, the knees go together. The heels also need to swing forward. I consider the orientation of his arm. If he were to give me a thumbs up, that would tell me that's the right orientation because the thumb is going to point directly away from the chest. That tells me where the elbow is, tells me the direction I need to apply the pressure, opposite the direction the thumb is pointing. The hips go up, I pull down on the wrist and I swing my legs forward. Again, pick an arm. In this case, for me, it's going to be this arm. Underneath, across, cupping the elbow, foot on the hip, pushing the head away, breaking the posture, keeping his hips pushed back with this leg over here, trying to get my heel close to my knee, posting the head away, grabbing, holding him down. The leg comes up and around. Now when the leg comes up and around, the hips are not lazy. The hips go up to grab the armbar. Heels now swing down, forward, and then applying the pressure here to finish the submission. A drill you can use to practice setting up the armbar and eventually to set up the shoulder trap is a hip swing drill. I'm gonna start by from closed guard, just taking my right leg and swinging it out like this, okay? Getting my lower back up off of the mat. Now from this angle, I'm going to, with this leg, pull in the armpit. As I pull, that gets me moving back in front of him. Once I get my momentum going, I kick off with that leg. Okay, repeat this side. Pull, swing. Pull with my left leg, swing it out. Okay, the idea is to open my hips up and swing around to as much of an angle as I can, which makes it easier for me to set up my offense. And eventually, once I'm out here, you can see how it's gonna be easier for me to take the armbar. This is what we're going to be working toward. 